Adrian, you were like all over this. Well, I just appreciate that the four of you made time today to do this, and we'll try to be, keep it as brief as possible, because I know you have other things to do. And we'll have retakes. <laughs> okay. So where? Awesome. David, who's going to get the first question? Mike will get the first question. Okay. And then Mike will, um, then Mickey will get the second question, and then Mike will also answer the second question. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. And then from that point on, it's only It'll me. It'll be just Mike unless, until the very end. Uh, unless, unless Mickey raises her hand or something. Oh, good. Yeah. You can always answer if you want to. Okay. All right. So, well, um, I have a question. Yes. From where is going to be in the camera? I think it's from your waist here. up. So the, the mask is, can be here? Yes. All right. Jim, is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to get my so okay. again, um, everybody's Zion, 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 Zion. Okay. You ready, Zion? Okay. Tony, you ready? All you have to do, everybody's just going to look at me. And then, and again, when I ask, the, I'm going to say the question out loud, and then you all will use the question in your response, because I will not be on film, and I will not be recorded. So that's why it's important. So when I say, like for the first one, how important is it to ensure that CEC is able to continue and support present and future members? Mike's going to say, it's so important that CEC is there for pre present and future um, congregants because... Yeah. All right, you got it, Mickey? Okay, all right. Well, what's okay. the second question? Can you read it? Yes. Is there a story <laughs> about the synagogue, a life cycle event, or just a quip you'd like to share? So some story from the synagogue. Okay. So that's an easy one. Then you just say, I, you know, there's a story I would like to share. Okay. And Mike, you could say there's a, there's a life cycle event that I want to mention. Hmm. Something like that. Whichever you choose. So I'm just going to start off, and then everybody's looking at me. Ready, Kona? Okay. So Mike, you get the, and then um, everybody keeps their hand. Well, you all are fine, but the two of you in the back, maybe keep your hands straight. Don't, don't move your hands around, because the, the camera will catch that. So, Mike, you had, you, your question that you chose was how important is it to ensure that S. Heinen is able to continue and support present and future members? It's really important for S. Heinen to support current and future members. When I first joined the synagogue, it was the first, when we first moved to Cincinnati, and it became a part of our lives and our adjustment to the city. This is how we adjust to our lives and make a new community as we progress through our lives and it's been here for us for over 22 years. It would be lovely to have it for future families in the future. And the next question would be, is there a story about the synagogue, a life cycle event, or just a, a quip that you'd like to share? And Mike, we'll go to you first. Oh, I'm sorry, Mickey first, sorry. Oh. Is this Mickey? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, this is a small story, but um, when, uh, like about 20 years ago, when I, uh, I came here to the United States from Japan, and I still don't know around here a lot, but um, Michael went to Japan for his work for one year, and I was here by myself, but almost every Fridays, Friday night at the Shabbos, I came here, and everyone are so kind of me, and I have a good time, um, comfortable time here. So that's why I like here. Mike, same question. Hang on just a second, Mike. Because he has to move the camera, probably. So again, how important is it to ensure, I'm sorry, is there a story about the synagogue, or a life cycle event, or a program that comes to mind that you'd like to share? Zion? Um, no. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get your, your focus. Mike, you ready? Go right ahead. When Zion was born and I was vice president of the synagogue, I would bring him here all the time. He was a few months old and everybody took care of him. I mean, I remember so many people were helping out. If I were to drop him, someone would have caught him before he hit the ground. Mm -hmm. It was that much of a family. So Mike, the remaining questions are for you until we get to Zion and Kona, if Kona is interested in answering. The third one was, you've been involved in a number of special projects and committees here at Zion. Tell us about one or two of them. About 10 years ago, I was vice president of the synagogue. Um, Steve, uh, Steve Sigerman and Terry Brodoff were also Let's part of the- again. Okay. Say again? Start we're again. gonna take that one from the top. All right. Okay. 
talking about um, uh, your, you've been involved on special projects and committees. Take two. I was vice president of the synagogue about 10 years ago. And we were involved with so many different things. We really got to know all the members of the synagogue and get connected with the board and everybody else really closely. And the next question, what would you say about congregation at Taim to another, an, a young married professionals who came back to the city mm -hmm. looking for a unique congregation? This synagogue is very flexible. You got all ages here. They've accommodated everybody here and help everybody adjust to the level you want to. You can be yourself and you don't have to worry about how you'll be accepted because you will be. And we're going to do that one again, but I just want you to use the sentence, the question. Oh, thanks, yeah. Right. So what would you say about a young professional, married couple, who come back to the city? And What advice do I have to a young professional couple who comes back to the city? I totally recommend the synagogue. The, the synagogue has been a home for us since we've been here. They're very accommodating, and you can be yourself, and you can get anything you want from the synagogue, a, a little or a lot. Mike, now that we've rehearsed that, let's do it one more time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and you can go anytime. What would I recommend to a young couple professional who's coming back to Cincinnati? I totally recommend the synagogue. It is very flexible, accommodating, and friendly. You can do whatever you want with the synagogue, a little bit or a lot, and you can get what you need from the synagogue as you, as you progress in your career and family. Um, one more, um, and you may have already answered this in another capacity, but why is the synagogue so important to you and your family that you would make this commitment to the CYJL program? So now we're referencing CYJL for the first time, really. So why is CEC so important to you and your family that you would make this commitment that you've made to the program? Why is CEC so Sorry important? Again. <laughs> <laughs> you would the last time. You ready? Why is CEC so important to us and why we have contributed, contributed to the CYJL program? We're gonna go one more time. <laughs> We've got plenty of tape. Yeah, there you go. We're good. It's all electronic now, right? <laughs> it's tough to see why JL and everything it's, it's a, can be tongue twisted and putting all this in. But you go whenever you're ready. Why is this synagogue so important to us? And why is the legacy program such an important thing for us to dedicate to? The, we have gotten so much from the synagogue. You know, when we first started as a couple and then enlarged as a family, we keep getting output from the, from the synagogue. During the coronavirus, they supported us, brought stuff to our house. The people have been extremely friendly. And as we grow, I want to make sure that I can go ahead and contribute to the synagogue so it can be here for the future couples and families. Mike, the final question that you chose, there have been many times that you and your family have had to travel abroad for extended periods of time, and, you, and therefore you've experienced coming home to this synagogue several times. Describe to us the feeling you and your family have when you return back here after being away for a long period of time. Try to include it in the, uh, the response. Please repeat the question? Yeah. There have been many times where you and your family have left town, but when you come home, tell us how you felt coming back to the synagogue the first time after you've come home. There have been several times that our family has left Cincinnati, lived over in Asia, and came back. And when we come back to Cincinnati, CEC has always been there for us. We've spent a lot of time at other synagogues in Asia, but when we come home to Cincinnati, we first go to our home, but it's never complete until we step back here into this synagogue. It's just a feeling that now our Cincinnati lives are complete because it's the friends that we've had for over 20 years. And that's it. That now nice. we get to switch the microphones. Kona, are you sure? I mean, just for 10 seconds? It might be really cool, and you'll take what? If you don't end up liking it, we won't use it. I mean, you, you two are supposed to sit And you can practice. Here. And you can I, we still want you to sit down. Oh, but, but, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Okay. Two cameras so you can go back. Oh, I can't mess it up. That's where it does come from. <laughs> okay, so what we'd like to. Would you like that answer? No. David? Or you want to give it a try, and if you don't like it, we don't need it.
Okay. Okay. You can have a seat. Okay. All right, Zion. This is going to be easy. Do me a favor. Take your hands out of your pockets. This goes in this pocket here. Can you take this and run it up to your hoodie and make it come up all the way at the top, please? Okay. You can just hold that. And I'll get it. Very nice. Okay. Put this around the other side. Do you like the synagogue? I have to say I love it. That's it. Look, yeah. that's not, not even that. Can you put your chin up for me? I understand. She's camera shopping. Which means she's yeah. probably going to be that was easy. when she grows up. Okay. You're there? You're there? You're there? You're there? So I guess I didn't have this. Yeah, there? I can just hang on to that. Oh. Yeah. So, I'm going to make sure you look at Steve. Everybody's still looking at me. And Zion, I'm going to just ask you very simply, what do you like about the synagogue? And then you're, you're going to go... You know what I love about the synagogue is, and then you'll just answer whatever you want, okay? Zion, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can you go this way a little bit? Is that too much or is that good? Let me just find out. Okay. I don't need to have to add space. It's pretty good looking. It used to be better looking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm supposed to say, you know what I love about the synagogue, yeah. and then and my then response. Okay. And, okay. and Zion, okay. if you messed up, we can do it again. No yeah. worries. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So Zion, do me a favor and put your weight on your left foot. There, right so like sort of lean a little there you go. That's exactly it. Okay. He is. He's a professional. Okay. <laughs> Zion, can you count ten for me? One, two. Uh, hang on just a second. I have too many headphones. Leave this one on. Go again. I'm trying to get the sound check for it. One, two, three, well four. Okay, so Zion, tell us what you love about the synagogue. That's fine. You know what I love about. You know what I love. Well, we're doing another thing. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? We got plenty of time. You can go anytime you want. You know what I love about the synagogue is how we sometimes get snacks on certain <laughs> holidays. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. We're going to do it one more time. Okay. Are, are the people really nice to you? Yeah. All right. So you can put that in too. People are nice and they give you food. It's around the holidays. All right. That's a good deal. So we're going to come directly to you. Ready? And remember, what, what I like about. You know, what I like, love about the synagogue is. Oh. It's either going to be like or love. Uh, uh, love, I guess. Ready? Here we go. Three. You know what I love about the synagogue is how we sometimes get snacks and the people are really nice to us during the holidays. Oh, I messed up. No, you were good. No, 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 no. Is that good? I was fine with it. I thought it was good. Are you sure you don't want to say anything? That's good. Okay, where everybody moves, are we done? Unless Kona has like one little thing she wants to say. Okay. Nope. Okay, so I, I, need, I need everybody to say right where you're at. I'm going to check to make sure.